welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say, The Mesha ravaged Buhari cries out that his sponsors, that is the Fulani Meyetiala, will eliminate him if he goes against their agendas. You know, Buhari mocked the Southeast politicians who were asking for extra states, additional states, because other regions have six states each, except the Southeast, and they were begging the full of the Janjaweed, thinking that they will help them. And Buhari blasted them. He told them to go and manage the five states they have instead of asking for a new state that will make it six states in the Southeast region to be like other regions in the zoo called Nigeria. You know, the full of the Janjaweed, they know what they are doing. They will never give the Southeast the six states they are asking for. So why are the Southeast politicians killing themselves for the Fulani? Serving them. Why? Imagine the Fulani telling them that they can't give them six states. But all the Fulani zones or regions, the Northwest, the Northeast, they all have six states and they are not doing well. None of the states can stand on their own without federal location. And that is why our leader have always said that Biafran politicians are supposed to understand who the Fulani Janjaweed are, but they don't want to. You know, that is what is happening. Buhari also blasted the unity beggars who were agitating for restructuring. He told them that they lacked the basic knowledge of the process and the people he is blasting that they lack the basic knowledge. These are professors, academicians, you know, lawyers, that know the law. They understand everything. Yet, semi illiterate Buhari is lamb blasting them that they don't know the process. They don't understand the process. You know, he might be telling them the truth. Because the full and 1999 constitution have made it possible for the process to be practically impossible. They will block it at the National Assembly. That's what he's saying. They will block it. The dementia ravage Buhari could not even remember names of governors, state governors who visited him. Talk less of knowing what he's saying. He doesn't even know what he's saying. That was why he said, his sponsors might eliminate him if he talks about his successor in 2023 or go against the agendas. Following the ban imposed by IPOB on the consumption of full and neat ginger wheat beef in the Southeast region, the amalgamation of the Northern traders in cattle, grains, and vegetables are now scared. They are afraid, crying, that they might not survive if Biafrans refuse to buy their products 
They are cows. But their leader, their leader, a Fulani Janjawi, the chairman of the Northern Cattle Traders, Mohammed Tahir, a Fulani Megetiala terrorist member, said that their members would always support the indivisibility of Nigeria. But if IPOB wants to secede, then so be it. Then they should tell their Fulani caliphate to let Biafra go. We should go. They should let us go. According to Fulani terrorist danger with Mohammed Tahi, he said that bilateral trade between Biafra and the Fulani is all about wealth creation for the two regions. The cattle the Fulani takes to Biafra is for food. But the thing there is that the problem is that they come with their terrorists to kidnap, to kill, and to overrun our land. Whereas Biafrans are doing legitimate business in their north. And Biafrans doing business in their north are not kidnapping them. They are not raping their women and their daughters. They are not taking over their farmlands or their ancestral land. They are not taking over. And that is why Biafras don't want anything to do with the Fulani Janjaweed. And they are coarse cows. Cows that they sleep with. They will not sell it to Biafras. No, we won't eat that. We will not. They should take their costings back to their Fulani ravaged north. We don't want them. We don't want them. You know, my brothers and my sisters, that is what the Fulani Janjaweed have been planning. They want to ensure that they take over Biaf deceptively. IPOB. Ask Biafrans to come out in mass in solidarity with our great leader, Mazen Amdekanu, at his next court trial at the Federal High Court Abuja on January 18, 2022. Also, IPOB stated that all schools in Biafra land will receive a copy of the Biafra National Anthem to teach our Biafran students. IPOB went further to declare that Every May 30 will be marked to celebrate the independence anniversary of Biafra and nothing will change this plan. Our great leader, Mazen Amdekanu, must be released unconditionally. Buhari cannot be releasing Fulani terrorist bandits and Boko Haram, but keep freedom seekers behind bar perpetually that will not work that will not work that has to come to an end it has to come to an end because Biafra must be free it has to come to an end you know according to reports residents of Ata Obo Omontazi and Oporo communities in our low local government area of Imo State have cried out that their generation may be wiped out by the full need security agencies in Nigeria. The Biafrans in Olu said that some callous operatives of the criminal DSS, police and army, have embarked on a killing spray of Biafran youths in Olu and destroying their houses since December 30, 2021. According to a distress message by affected residents, signed by Barrister Ernest Ezewata, President of Low Indigenous for Peace Initiatives, the villagers have begun deserting their ancestral homes over fear of being eliminated. The plan of the Fulani Janjaweed is to turn Olu into an emirate. And that's what they are doing. 
They want everyone to desert Olo so that they can secure Olo for Fulani Janjaweed and bring them in with the military. You know, a, a copy of SOS message said, said that 25 Biafran Jews are said to have been killed while over 60 homes or houses have been burnt by the Fulani Nigerian security agents. The Olu Indigen for Peace Initiative thereby calls on security agencies and the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, hopeless who are injured, to stop the prevailing mass killings and destruction of indigenous communities of Atta, Obo, Omontazi, and Okporo in Olu Imo State. Olu Indigens also call on the Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba, the Director General of the Department of State Security Services, Yusuf Magaji Binchi, and the Chief of Army Staff, Farouk Yahaya, all Fulani Janjaweed and terrorists, to constitute panel of investigation official the officials or officers and soldiers that are exhibiting impunity and lack of knowledge of the role of engagement in law enforcement when in Imo states particularly in Olo senatorial zone. If not, the Olo indigen will launch multiple lawsuits against this Fulani Janjawi to address the heinous crimes. Olo people who are Biafrans are desperately crying out to bring the attentions of Nigerians of goodwill and international human rights organizations to the ongoing indiscriminate mass killings and abduction of Biafran youth, especially the male, and the incessant burning down of buildings that are currently being perpetrated by the combined forces of criminal DSS soldiers and the Imo state government set up a Bubago security outfit under the guise of combating the unknown government that was formed by hopeless Uzo Dinjo. Uzo Dinjo is playing politics with the life of Biafran people. You know, to the extent that the hitherto peaceful communities have been deserted, hence turned into ghost towns. The most painful part of it is that all the criminal DSS officers and soldiers committing these atrocities are full and need ginger weed from the north. This is a crime against humanity. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.